everybody loves a decent cameo and everyone loves it even more when they're immediately recognisable. But you know what they love even, even more? Not realising it's a cameo? Well, maybe that's a bit of a weird description. But let's get into this list and see exactly why these stood up above the rest. I'm Sean Ferry for What Culture Horror, and here are eight recent horror movie cameos everyone missed. Number eight, Marilyn Manson, The New Mutants. The New Mutants was well publicised for its numerous delays from 20th Century Fox demanded reshoots to various problems during the COVID-19 pandemic. And though the film itself is relatively safe, one aspect that hasn't been talked about much is the involvement of musician Marilyn Manson. The infamous rocker actually voiced the Smiley Man, the representation of Ileana Rasputin's abusers from her troubled childhood. Though a different actor played the character on set, all the voices and sounds from the creature were done by Manson himself. An interesting BTS anecdote about his involvement with the film was Manson actually recorded a song for the New Mutants. In 2019, he released a cover of Cry Little Sister, which was intended to tie in with the Marvel movie, but of course, due to the picture's countless delays, the song was released ahead of the New Mutants, and come the final cut, was nowhere to be heard. Still, it's an interesting piece of trivia to know that the musician's involvement with the movie wasn't completely cut. Number 7. James and Oliver Phelps, Last Night in Soho. One Hollywood trick when it comes to elaborate mirror scenes is through the use of twins. The most famous example has to be in Terminator 2 Judgment Day when James Cameron used Linda Hamilton's twin sister during the mirror scene and also when the T-1000 took Sarah Connor's form. Most recently, this special trick was used in Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho. During Ellie's first dream sequence, there was an elaborate mirror sequence where she enters the club and has her jacket removed by an attendant. When she looks in the reflection, however, she sees the face of Sandy looking back at her. As mentioned, to achieve this trick, Wright employed twins for the sequence, but eagle-eyed viewers can quickly notice that the twin actors are not just any actors, but one of the most recognisable ones out there. Lo and behold, James and Oliver Phelps, best known as Fred and George Weasley in the Harry Potter films, were used for this sequence. Despite their brief appearance, that could easily be missed, it's still nice to see these famous twins appear in high-profile projects such as this. Number 6. Several YouTubers Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's adapted for the famous video game of the same name and was released in 2023. The source material, best known for its jump scares, was popularised by numerous YouTube playthroughs during the 2010s. So, when it came to finally making a big screen adaptation, the filmmakers were gracious enough to include numerous YouTubers whose content helped push the video game franchise into the viral hit it is today. Corey S. Kenshin, best known for his playthroughs of the Five Nights games, appears as a taxi driver in the final cut. Another famous YouTuber, MatPat, appears as a waiter in one sequence, and elsewhere there are appearances from famous content creators such as 8-Bit Ryan, Bazalmalum, and Dorko. Ultimately, props have to go to those behind this movie adaptation for paying tribute to some of the people who've played a hand in some of the success enjoyed by the games, as without them, Five Nights at Freddy's may not be where it is now. Number 5. Bill Hader, Bo is Afraid Ari Aster returned to the big screen in 2023's Bo is Afraid, one big surprise, however, came with the brief appearance of SNL veteran Bill Hader during the film. The comedian plays a UPS driver who informs Bo of pivotal news at the start of the film and appears in a newsreel later on. Ari has stated that Hader's involvement happened because they were friends and he simply wanted to place him in Bo is Afraid. He noted how the cameo was particularly effective, especially since most viewers won't recognise Hader immediately from the phone call, only to have him revealed later on television. And though Hader would admit that some of the takes he tried were big and intense, Astor found his delivery funny, which thankfully fits the tone of the phone call. The sequence is awkward and darkly comedic due to the circumstances surrounding the scene, yet Hader manages to capture that tone and is a fitting balance between the darkness and humour seen throughout Bo's Afraid. Number 4. William Ragsdale, Renfield Renfield puts a modern spin on the story of Dracula and his faithful servant. And while the Prince of Darkness himself is considered the most iconic vampire in cinema history, this movie nicely paid tribute to a legendary figure of 80s vampire films. During the opening of Renfield, a priest tries to contain and defeat the Count through a protection spell. When that spell's broken, Dracula enters the priest's body, exploding him into bloody chunks in a grisly spectacle. However, if you do some digging, you'd be surprised to find out that the priest was played by none other than William Ragsdale. Famously, Ragsdale is best known for playing Charlie Brewster in 1985's Fright Night and its 1988 sequel. While he may have survived those films, Ragsdale clearly didn't fare as well against Count Dracula. It's nice to see a modern movie paying tribute to such an oft-overlooked gem as Fright Night, while Renfield itself managed to be a pretty entertaining vampire flick, even if it didn't fare too well at the box office. Number 3. Bruce Campbell, Evil Dead Rise 
Evil Dead is forever synonymous with Bruce Campbell as the iconic Ash Williams, and certain fans were worried when 2023's Evil Dead Rise wouldn't be featuring that actor. Thankfully, reviews for the movie were positive, with many feeling that it nicely captured the spirit of the previous films. And as an added bonus, the King himself does make a brief appearance in the story, albeit via a radio cameo. When Danny is listening to the recording explaining the backstory of Naturum de Monto, the voice can be heard interrupting the narrator who warns them of the dangers of the book and suggests destroying the object. Now, casual audiences may assume this is just an archetype that we've seen in numerous horror movies. The guy who warns our cast of the dangers that lie ahead, but this concerned figure is actually Bruce Campbell. Director Lee Cronin later admitted that the actor's participation in this scene was intentional and that the role is supposed to be a yet again time-displaced Ash Williams in 1923. As such, this gives Bruce Campbell a perfect record of technically appearing in every Evil Dead movie to date. Number 2. Bob Odenkirk, Halloween Kills the Halloween franchise has had some bizarre appearances from actors throughout the years. From Paul Stephen Rudd, as he was then known, in Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, to Buster Rhymes, infamous foray into acting in Halloween Resurrection. But adding to that list is Saul Goodman himself, Bob Odenkirk, who appeared in a photo cameo in Halloween Kills. Now, the story goes that a newsreel was supposed to show Linda's ill-fated boyfriend Bob from the 1978 original. While looking for pictures of Bob actor John Michael Graham for using this sequence, the filmmakers opted instead to use a high school photo of Odenkirk that looked enough like Graham, with the Better Call Saul man kind enough to lend his likeness for this scene. While it's just a very quick cameo, Bob Odenkirk's surprise appearance in the Halloween franchise is certainly a fun easter egg. Number 1. Drew Barrymore Scream 2022 Drew Barrymore's appearance in the original Scream will forever be iconic. As the opening kill of the entire series, her death set up the film as unpredictable by offing its biggest star. But casual viewers may not know that the 1996 original isn't the only Scream appearance for the E.T. actress. Bringing back Scream without the legendary Wes Craven was always going to be a challenge, but thankfully the cast, both past and present, was supportive of 2022 Scream, with that movie also featuring several Scream 96 alumni. One notable cameo in that picture was Matthew Lillard, the original film's Stu Mocker, who voices a fictional ghost face in the in-universe Stab 8. However, the biggest surprise was Drew Barrymore making a minor return to the series. In that fifth film, Barrymore voiced the Woodsboro High principal who makes a tannoy announcement as we get introduced to our new young cast. This small appearance is definitely something to keep in mind next time fans watch the 2022 Scream Revival. 